not that. Do you not see me Wait. smiling? Oh, get away. What does she do? Starts bawling like a baby. Thought we talked about no crying. Oh, you want this kid with me? I don't want her with you. Don't cry. Well, there's nothing we can do. Maddie and Chloe's solos are up soon. This is a big, big moment for both of them. Your elbows. Okay, come here. Roll around, step up, roll that way. This, this. Chloe, you're up. It's a big smile there. Your forehead a little bit. Make sure your force starts to elevate on that foot. This is Chloe's moment. This is her opportunity to step out there and take that spotlight. Ladies, make me proud. Chloe's ready. She knows what an opportunity it is, and she knows what it means to prove to Abby that she is someone to be reckoned with. Coming up now is entry number 19 in the junior solo division. Here's Chloe with You Can. Chloe danced beautifully. And if I were Melissa and Maddie, I'd be worried. I'm a little concerned about this dance because I really want to win. Even though Chloe's my friend, I still want to just make Miss Abby proud. Up next is entry number 20 in the junior solo division. Here's Maddie with <laughs> Be Anything. Takes a moment to break a butterfly on the wheel. That's when you hear an angel cry. Anything you dream of, anything you dream of. bobbled one of her turns, but she did dance beautifully. But I think she could have done better. What happened? Oh, my, so bad. All of them. Every single one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was an experience. Do you think that this experiment that you're doing, do you think it worked? Hey, I'm thrilled that Chloe could remember the dance. Abby, who do you think will come out on top? Well, I don't know. It's in the judges' hands. I tried to find out who the judges were, you know. I know Abby said she gave the girls an even playing field, but I know what I'm sitting on. I know what I have, evidence of Maddie having an extra private. We're at the studio one afternoon, and we have Maddie on videotape learning her solo. Don't even go there with me, Jill. It was the same day. You're, Melissa, you're lying. You're but lying. Like Jill and I found your daughter learning her dance. You know nothing. All we're saying is that you're known to lie. Everybody here deserves the truth. That is the truth. What difference does it make? You all know damn well Maddie can learn to dance in one hour and go out there and do it. Save yourself the aggravation. OK. She has it, and she has it right now. I don't have time to worry about this solo drama. The Elite High Point Awards for the junior division in the junior solo category. Third place entry number 15 from Tiffany and Company, Escape. At this point, I really don't know who I think is going to win. I think they both did things very well, and I think they both did things that could have been better. Second place, entry number 20 from Abby Lee Dance Company. Be anything. I think it was probably a tight call. It doesn't mean that one dancer is better than the other. And in first place, Junior Solo in the Junior Division Elite High Point Awards. Entry number 19 from Abby Lee Dance Company. You win! I'm so happy for Chloe. This is a huge boost to her confidence, and it just proves to Abby once and for all that Chloe is a force to be reckoned with. Give him a round of applause. Why not? I don't care. 
Abby said it in front of the other moms. I'm surprised Chloe won. And she said it right in front of everyone else. I think Maddie got really upset whenever she found out that she didn't win. But I thought they both did a fabulous job. So I don't think it matters who the winner is. Don't be sad. I'm not sad. Do you not see me smiling? No, I wasn't. Kate, did you not see me smiling the whole award? Sorry. You were great. I mean, I thought your, your dance was wonderful. It was beautiful. I mean, it's, you know, it's all good. Hey, congratulations. Hey. And we had a goof. One of our judges, they gave Chloe a 99.10. She actually had a 96.6 because they gave her a 27.5 in the category that only had 25 points. That means that the overall winner would have been Maddie. Congratulations, Maddie. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Yes, I'm sorry. That, hey, you know, things happen. All, All right. right. Thank you very yep. much. Thank you. Thank you. Woo Everybody, congratulations on the group. Maddie and Chloe, congratulations on being great sports. Mistakes happen. The director of the competition told us that there was a mistake in the scores and that um, I didn't really win and Maddie won. And I was a little upset, but I was really happy for Maddie. Mackenzie, what are you doing there with the hairdo? What did I tell you? Never leave home without your bows. Are you kidding me that it just so happened that Chloe and Maddie's scores were the only ones out of the entire competition with 80-some routines that were incorrect? Are you kidding? So, Abby, how did you discover the discrepancy between the 30 point and the 25 point. I didn't, that came to me. I guess the judges said, there's a problem. We have a problem. I'm sorry. Yes. You okay? Yes. I'm, I stole your oh. score sheets. Yes. I kept them with me. And I wanted to say, once again, you know, this doesn't happen that often at all, but I wanted to say thank you for bringing it to our attention. Oh. That's it. about the candy apple number. It was very dark. The costumes were dark. The number was dark. I think it was something about a circus. I'm watching Taylor, totally not with the group of dancers. She is a beat behind. She looks shaky. I'm very concerned about what's going on. And down she goes. What is she doing? Oh, God. They were doing really well. And then all of a sudden, they were off. Taylor ran off the stage. Something's not right. Oh my God. Taylor looks really hurt, and she's my teammate now. I hope she's okay. I just saw my ankle, and I feel like it's broke. What? I can't move. Oh boy. Wait, what were you doing, Taylor? Because you were totally off on everything. I know. I came on, and it hurt terribly. I couldn't do it. This kid is in a traumatic state. She's hysterical crying. I feel my ankle. It feels like it's popped down. Okay, okay, okay. it's all right. It's all right. Just calm down. This could take her out the rest of the season. It's all right, honey. Here. It's all right. Okay, bye. 
well, she could be out for dancing. That's gonna stink for us. I have to be on top of things, and then I don't want it to seem like it's harsh, but who's coming in as a replacement? Well, Kendall, you're gonna have to replace Taylor. Can you do that for us? Yes. It's very unfortunate that, that Taylor got hurt, but Kathy is fortunate to have Kendall that she can fit right into any of Taylor's positions. What did you think of the critique? It was, it was all fine. The judge who spoke to every single one of our kids said their ballet, muscle memory, everything we've been saying all week. I just want to understand, what's the disconnect? Overstepping your boundary. Abby, we want the same thing you want. That's why you're here. But we also want to have the training that will back that up. And you don't think you have the training to back that up thus far? You taught us. You gave us all the supplies and it's like tools and everything. But I think what we want now Okay, enough. Enough. We have to figure out what to do here. You don't need to figure out what to why? do. The girls know what to do. Where's the jazz teacher? Where's the hip hop yeah. teacher? Where's the tumbling teacher? That's what we're trying to figure out. All you do is keep flapping your mouth, and you're not saying anything. It's trying to bring the Pittsburgh, what we have in Pittsburgh, and making a balance and making everything work. I don't like mommies playing dancing school. Get that straight. Well, I've done it for 14 years, and that's why my child is the dancer she is. Oh, that little hug. She's, she's hurting right now. Abby knows she's wrong. What does she do? Starts bawling like a baby because she knows there's no other way out. Abby, you have all the support in this room. Don't go away from me. We love you. Oh, Jojo. Yeah. It's OK. This is crossing the line. Abby rejected Jojo, Kalani, and Nia away. Abby, I don't know why you would ask the other girls to walk away from you, because they support you just as much. It has nothing to do with what you teach and what you don't teach. Don't care. You guys are being ridiculous. Fine, do it without us. Oh, my hell, we don't give a damn. No, it's ridiculous. Don't point your finger at me. But don't you dare try and make my child look like that. Don't you dare. Call Maddie B. <laughs> Go to hell. Go to hell. Your kid would rather be with any other mother here I than with you. I will not stand here unless you talk to my child like that. Everybody else will, I will not. I am so sick of that. Claudia, let's go. Go. She's a bitch and I'm done. Oh. Yeah, you are. I'm done. Do not treat my child like that. You begged me to get your kid back. Do not. I exactly. want this kid with me. I don't want her with you. Sleeping with some guy you're not even married to. No! And look what you do. Look what you do. Kira, get in here. Get in here. No, you go to hell, too. I'm so sick and tired of you guys always supporting her, no. sitting here, acting you like it's not. okay. You don't I will not understand. stand there. You don't I do understand. Abby and Kira have this huge, drawn-out fight, and Abby leaves. Abby leaves the team right before the group dance. Like, we're in California. Where is our leader? What's happening? I don't want to have to deal with that. You And you shouldn't have to deal with that. You know that Abby just sometimes says things. We're just here to dance, and everything so, turns into a big fight. It's not OK. That type of behavior cannot continue to happen. Kalani wants to stay. She wants to do the group number. That kid's stronger than Abby is, and that's all that matters. Kira, I'm so glad you're here and you stayed. And Kalani, the team wouldn't be the same if you didn't stay. She's just not going to leave the group on this number that she's already learned. But as far as, as far as coming back, that's to be determined. At this point, Kalani is part of the team. She's doing the group dance. But for how long? Kira's not making any promises that Kalani is going to stay permanently. She has a lot of thinking to do. And the fact that Abby's not here, we can actually focus as a team and hopefully get the job done. Please welcome to the Believe stage number 47, Dance Bop.
The girls' group routine was fabulous. They really brought it despite all the drama. Third place, 12 to 14 small group regional belief champion is... Dance Bop, number 47. If Abby wasn't in tears before, she'd definitely been in tears now. Here's a news flash. Maybe the girls aren't winning because, I don't know, they're not in class. We came to LA for what? No opportunities, no dance training, no wins, no dance studio. Why are we even here? I try my best not to make it my last, but I can't <laughs> promise you anything. Yes, you can. No, I can't. It's not her decision. I don't want you to leave. We are moving backwards right now at the ALDC. 911, we need help. Something needs to change. I want you to go out there and give it 110%. This is your first solo here in LA. Let's make the best of it. Let's make it memorable. Do you feel good? Do you like it? Sure. After everything Jess has put us through in LA, I really hope that Kendall can beat JoJo so Jess will quit being so annoying and shut up. More, that has to be more like a snake coming up out of the grass. Shoulders back on that. Push hard for that. Don't take it for granted. Face, what are you doing? Face. Come on, Kendall, you look like you're... What's wrong, honey? <laughs> this is an emotional week for Kendall and all the girls. No one has addressed really what's going on with Nia. This is a lot of pressure for Kendall to have a solo right now, and she's feeling it. You're fine. Come here. Pull it together. OK? There's other kids that aren't doing so well. There's other kids that don't have a pretty costume. Sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. Okay, take a moment. Okay, so we're good. Break a leg, both of you. Okay. After a long, rough week and not a lot of rehearsal time, I'm nervous and I don't know what to expect. I want Kendall to win. Everybody wants their kid to win. But Kendall just had some sort of breakdown and I don't know what's going to happen. Entry number 66, pre-team solo, welcome to a new world. The music stops. She just kept going. In my mind, I was like singing in my head the beats, and I was just like, I got this, judges. You better give me a perfect score. That kid was a trooper. She understood what needed to be done, and she did it. Bravo. In second place, number 66. Welcome to a new world. Guess what? JoJo did not beat Kendall. After everything that's happened this week, I think it's amazing that Kendall came in second. Her music stopped, and she kept on dancing like a true performer. I am so proud of her. Can I have my phone in my purse? Who are you calling? Abby. Oh, good. I thought we were, would draw straws. Who got the shortest stick to draw call her? <laughs> Why don't I call her? Hello? Oh, she's doing that. It feels so good. We're all getting ready for a competition. Uh, Where are you, Abby? I'm at the mouse house. Oh, you're in Orlando. Oh. When are you coming home? When I'm a book of page, get the hell out of my studio. Abby, we're 
were you serious when you said Peyton could have a solo? Yes. Okay. Is Peyton doing a solo? Brooke is doing a solo, and Peyton has a... I think we got disconnected. She doesn't want us here. It doesn't matter if she wants us here, Brooke. Even when Abby's not here, she still finds a way to mess with these girls. Don't cry. Look, there's nothing we can do. Whatever relationship my kid had with Abby is gone. Come on. You know Abby doesn't mean what she's saying. She loves you, bro. She talks about you all the time. Prove to her that you deserve to be on this team. No. You, I would never make you do something I didn't think you should do. You know I would never do something. Brooke, you can do this. I watched you do your dance. I just don't understand why I can't do it like next week. Brooke, you know it. No. You, you don't you even do. need an hour to learn the dance. You're, you just go on stage and you're beautiful. You have, just do it. Because then Abby's getting back and starting to laugh. I'm not really sure about doing this dance because Abby already hates us and she's probably gonna hate me more after doing this dance. But yeah, what if nobody even likes my song? Coming up next gonna be entry 36. Entry 36, competing for title. Please welcome to stage Brooke performing her own song, I Hurt. under the circumstances. She had 15 minutes to learn this dance. She was dancing to her own song. And before she went on stage, she sat and listened to Abby say horrible things about her. And I'm very proud of her. Fourth place, entry number 36, I Hurt. I think if Brooke had a good costume and good choreography, she would have got first. Mackenzie, I made some changes in your solo and you're up. So I think you need to get those socks off and we need to warm up and go through those changes. And what happens if you forget? You cannot be a national title holder and run off the stage because you forgot your dance. There will be none of that this season. Melissa, she runs off that stage. She can keep on running right back to Pittsburgh. Okay. I can't forget the solo. I want to win like Maddie won at my age. Can't you know. Let's go from the top. Here. I'll get the song. And she's going to get the break. Before Mackenzie went on stage, we all prayed so that Mackenzie wouldn't forget her dance and she would run off and cry because I don't want Mackenzie to forget her dance and I don't want Abby to yell at her. All right, next up on stage in our lead mini acro solo, please welcome to the stage Mackenzie with Goody Goody. <laughs> Kenzie comes out on stage, her turns were good, her tricks were great, and then all of a sudden her bow flies out of her hair. You should have learned from the very first competition we did. The headpiece gets sewed in the head. 
that bow fell on the floor, and everybody in the audience watched the bow instead of watching Mackenzie. Mackenzie was even watching the bow. That's why she forgot her dance. Thanks, Melissa. Well, Melissa, I still thought that Mackenzie's dance was great. The caliber, uh, the types of moves that she did, and her performance was strong. It was. Your little feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you did great. Honey, your bow fell out. Don't. Oh, my God. But no, don't. So you fixed it, and you know what? Yeah. Don't cry when Miss Abby yells. It's OK. She's going to yell. OK, it's OK. Mackenzie, what's going on? Thought we talked about no crying. She didn't. You were crying off stage in the wings. Yes, you were. And ladies and gentlemen, your highest scoring in the acro category. Act number three, goody goody. Woo! So you might, you might, fair lady, you win actually won hundred dollars and a full scholarship to the intensive. Congratulations, take them out. Ha ha, Abby, I won anyway. <laughs>